Um, so I don't know if you can see in the camera, but you can sort of see there's like a bit of a fog going around the lights. Um, that's actually the smog. Um, yeah, so anyway, that gate is pretty much like the main um, old road gate that's still. Okay, so we're back where we started and I'm using my phone now instead of GoPro because the GoPro is honestly just being a piece of sh And it looks like absolute trash on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Does it look any better now? Looks heaps better. Thanks. guys um, so tonight we're just doing another low-key nightlife video our style of nightlife video there's like a street that just pretty much comes alive with like markets and everything at night time so we're gonna head down there grab some Thai food for dinner and then um, yeah go to like where the main nightlife district is in Chiang Mai and that's about all we've got planned so um, yeah come have a look at Chiang Mai at night <laughs> with us that's it Um, so we're coming into where the food markets are now. Um, this side of the square, the old square of Chiang Mai is called Chiang Lo Road. Um, so it just kind of like um, Udon Thani, it comes alive at night time. So none of these markets are here during the daytime. Um, so if you have a look, Some of them are still getting set up, but they're, um, yeah, they're definitely there getting started. So more and more will come as the night goes on. So you've got food on this side of the road and then on the side that we're on, it um, kind of has like all your food carts and then you got your little like tables and restaurant sort of style things set up as well. So we might hit one of these because we love to sit down and eat. This looks, this looks good. Yeah, sweet. Sorry, Gat. Sorry, Pad cacao guy. With a fried egg. Yeah, chicken. Yep. Cool. Can I have uh, one of those, please? Yeah, it's a Oh, two chilies. Cool. Cop and half. Hello. And if you've seen the um, if you've seen the CM Ray videos, um, just to let you know that these chairs and tables are a lot taller. So if you're a bit taller, like me, uh, you won't have to you know squat down, <laughs> full full squat down. Yeah, they're not like children's tables. <laughs> yeah, pretty much children's stools and tables. That yeah. was um, that was a bit of a mission, especially when they were like on uneven ground. Yeah, which was all of them basically. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> So you just went to 7-Eleven to go yeah. to these drinks, eh? Yeah, hot tip. So if you, if you come here, then I don't know if there's any drink vendors here. There are like fruit shakes and stuff, but you can just jump across to 7-Eleven or Lotus and uh, grab the beers and they're going to be the cheapest you can get. So yeah, hot tip. You're welcome. Couple <laughs> car. What'd you get? I got um, sour, fried sour sausage with glass noodles and rice. Nice, not too spicy. Sour sausage, I don't yeah. know. It's hot. It's really good. <laughs> um, yeah, the sausage, I was expecting something weird, but yeah, very 
very sausage and with all the uh, ingredients mixed in. It is absolutely gorgeous. Yummo. Definitely recommend. <laughs> Thank you, pal. That's Can't really go expect. wrong. <laughs> yeah. 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 Cannot go wrong. It's so good. What is Chinese donut? Chinese donut. Yeah. Looks good. <laughs> so, this market. If you're lost, don't know exactly where it is, it's right next to Chiang Mai Gate. Oh, a little market in there. Should we go in there? Oh, yeah, let's go in there. Not a lot's going on. Yes? Yeah, yeah. They've got desserts and stuff there. Look yeah. at all those. Hey, Doug. Good boy. Boop. Are you boop Do you want some? Oh, look at you! Come here! Alright guys, video's over. We've patted a dog. That's okay. That's what <laughs> We're going to go home now. <laughs> look at his tail. Let's go. He's very cute. Look at him. Good boy. Hello. <laughs> so something that we were just discussing over dinner is um, how unique Chiang Mai is with its markets. Okay, so what we were saying before, we were so rudely interrupted by the GoPro having a meltdown. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Was um, Chiang Mai is unique in that there's markets that aren't open every single night, so it's kind of like a big deal when the markets are open. With the Sunday night walking street, so with that one, it's Basically, the main road that goes through the middle of Old Town. Sorry, car. Sorry, car. <laughs> so the main road that goes through the middle of Old Town um, shuts, and they basically just pop up a market in like ten minutes. It's pretty amazing to see. Um, We just had a drink at that um, Mai Bar, Chiang Mai. Yeah, that was we sick. Were, oops, sorry about the light there. We were walking past it and we um, just thought it looked really cool. Like they were playing some sick like 90s grunge music. And, and now we're on our way to, we're gonna head towards Zoe and Yellow, but we'll see what we find on the way there. But oh my God, your microphone. Oh yeah, man, I was like, we were sat there, sat out the front of the bar and then I've, um, because they're held on with magnets, these things, mm. and I was applying some uh, insect repellent, because you need it here, because yeah. they'll eat you alive, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, Whoa, and I'm just gone, boom, hit it onto the road, and then there's cars <laughs> coming, so I've like jumped over the table, jumped over the chairs, mm. and then grabbed it just like this close to a car running it over. Oh, I said to you about, I was like, I would have much rather the microphone smash than your hand, so I'm and glad I said, you calculated it well. And I said, well, that's good to know. <laughs> My hand versus the microphone. She'd, she'd prefer it if the microphone broke, but yep. yeah, you know, depends on the situation. <laughs> How you feel on that day. <laughs> you guys I, know I appreciated I mean. it. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if you can see in the camera, but you can sort of see there's like a bit of a fog going around the lights. Um, that's actually the smog. So... Yeah, like it hasn't been too bad the last couple of days, but today and tonight you have really been able to see it. So that's what's causing those like kind of halos around all the street lights and stuff here. One of the things that I absolutely love about Chiang Mai is that there is literally a temple on every corner um, and each one of the temples is completely unique um, and they're all just so beautiful. This 
so the GoPro needed a little break, so we've just teleported to this bar called Roots Rock and Reggae. Um, so the nightlife district in Chiang Mai is just basically like, kind of like a little mini square. Um, and there's just bars sort of all the way along it and they're more like sports bars um, with sort of like pool tables, you can play darts, you can um, just have some beers. One cool thing to know about Chiang Mai too is that this is like the main sort of nightlife district where Zoe and Yellow is. I don't know exactly what the street's called but if you're wanting to go out in Chiang Mai at night time, just type in Google search Zoe and Yellow and you'll pretty much be where all the main bars and stuff are. Um, these bars however are not like your typical Thai bar girl bars. There is a street that has all the bar girls on it though and it's completely separate to the one we're on at the moment. Yeah, yeah. So it looks like this um, this street down here as well. So we're headed toward um, the outside, the east side of the road that runs around um, Chiang Mai Old Town. And yeah, there's plenty of bars down here as well. So mm. yeah, it's a bit of a an extended um, nightlife district. But yeah, it looks yeah. some pretty cool bars down here. Sheesh, you can mad see the uh, smog at the moment. Yeah, yeah, you can. Ooh. Alrighty, so this is the Hay Gate. I think I'm saying that right, but I could be absolutely butchering it, so I will put it up on the screen. But um, this is like the main gate into Chiang Mai City. Um, yeah, so anyway, that gate is pretty much like the main um, old road gate. And so this is what's on the other side of the gate. So you've got all these little food trucks. Um, and then obviously, yeah, we just walk through there. Probably see that that, um, that haze around the lights on the camera is getting worse. Um, you can actually see it visibly with your naked eye now as well. So we're just walking around the outside of the, the square now the city square um, and not gonna lie this vlog has been quite difficult to film like we and I'll just get into the light here a little bit um, so yeah this vlog has been quite difficult to film we have had technical issues all night with our GoPro it's because it's hot it keeps on overheating um, but it's very frustrating so we came into this vlog feeling really happy and excited to do a nightlife video but right now we're kind of feeling a bit shit about it. Okay, so we're back where we started and I'm using my phone now instead of GoPro because the GoPro is honestly just being a piece of shit and I'm pissed off at it. Um, anyway, I'm just gonna try and find some fruit real quick and then once we get back to the hotel, I will end this vlog, but it's not cool. Um, I think we're going to have to buy a different camera or... I don't know. Anyway, that's just the reality for us tonight. And I'm not going to not post this vlog because it hasn't worked out the way we want it to work out. As we always say on the channel, like we want it to be real. We want to keep the content real and we want it to... We just want to show you what's really going on. So tonight for us, it has not been great. Um, and yeah, that's, that's okay. Sometimes these things happen, but as a travel vlogger, you just have to know that like, it's not always rainbows and sunshine. Like sometimes annoying things happen.